What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope everybody is doing well. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Some reason voice changer was on. I apologize. Voice changer was on. I apologize. Jake, thank you for that lurk. Hope you're doing well. Jake, thank you for that lurk. Hope you're doing well. Jake, thank you for that lurk. Hope you're doing well. We are getting ready to jump into uh, the next F260 uh, Bible plan. Currently calling my dad because today is his birthday. He is another year older, and we're talking about how fast life goes. It just continues to go faster and faster. What's going on, Rev? How you doing, man? It just continues to go faster and faster. What's going on, Rev? How you doing, man? All right. Uh, root for the birthday, indeed. We're going to go ahead and uh, do our daily re reading. We are on day 159. So we're getting closer and closer to that... Um, to that um to the end of the f260 which is 260 days as the name suggests um hey they said hi to you um hey they said hi to you he's waving at, at somebody that that said hi to him rev said hi to him um somebody that said all right so we're going to do our um Memory verses first. We've got John one verses one and two. Verses first. We've got um one verses one and two. In in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the. And then we've also got John one fourteen. And then we've also got John. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory is uh, as only of the Son. From the Father, full of grace and truth. You know what? I think I read the wrong one. Hold on. You know what? I think I read. I sure did. Hold on. All right, that's fine. We'll. Uh, I sure did. All right, that's fine. We'll, Sorry, I was like, we're not in John. It's Matthew. Matthew five sixteen. Uh, the very first one is uh, in the same way. Let your light shine before others, so that so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Is there an echo? Um, there is on my end. Uh, people have said that they uh, they haven't been able to hear that. People have said that they they haven't been able to hear that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, let me see what I need to do. Okay. Um, let me see what I need. To there are a couple ideas I have. Thank you for letting me know that we're echoing. No. There are a couple ideas I have. Thank you for letting me know that we're echoing. No. Okay, I don't know if this is going to help or not, but we shall see. I no longer hear it on my end. Do you still hear it on your end? I no longer hear it on my end. Do you still hear it on your end? I no longer hear it on my end. Do you still hear it on your oh, end? Oh, actually, I, I, no I, I, I see what's end. going on here. Okay, so now that should uh, that should fix it. Interesting. All right, there we go. Um, thank you for letting me know. Now we can get into um, we'll, we'll we'll redo Matthew five sixteen. 
In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And then we've also got Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. On that note, we are on day 159. I'm hoping that um, we don't get an echo through everything else. When I transition, I'm going to do a check, make sure that you guys can hear me before we get started. Okay, we are back over. Can you guys hear me still? I just uh, want to verify that that is the case. Okay, cool. So we are going to go ahead and do Matthew 7. Thank you, Favorina. Uh, how you doing? Matthew 7. Which uh, picks up where we where we talked about judging uh, or um, forgiving others, right? Which is what, which was what we were supposed to read yesterday. We missed it yesterday, so we did it today. So, but yesterday or yesterday's reading, which we did earlier, was about forgiving, right? So this one's not about not judging, and it's judge not that you be not judged. And basically, what that what that equates to is. In the same manner in which we judge other people, we will be judged. Kind of like if we don't forgive people, God won't forgive us, right? Um, for with the judgment you you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use it, it, it will be measured to you, which is basically what I just said. Uh, why, why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take out the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them uh, underfoot and turn to attack you. Ask. And it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks it will be opened. For which one of you, if his son uh, asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? And then we go to the golden rule. So whatever you, uh, you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law of the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Welcome, Mimi. Hope you're doing well. A tree and its fruits. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the disease tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased fruit bear or diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them by their fruits. I never knew you. Words that I never want to want to hear. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. 
On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your names and do many mighty works in your names? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of law lawlessness. Build your house on the rock. Everyone then who hears these words of, of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on the house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who, who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Based on today's reading, what is one thing God is saying to you? Your family's doing well. We just uh, we were doing some um, Bible reading before a stream. We were catching up from what we missed yesterday, and then we also went over th uh, over uh, Genesis one uh, verses one and two, verses twenty seven, all of Genesis t uh, chapter two, and then we did John uh, one verses one and two. You got something? Okay. We should not judge people. We should not judge other people because it's not nice and like it can hurt people's feelings maybe. Treat other people how you want to be treated because if you don't, then they'll treat you the same way that you um, get sh that the same way that you treated them. Is there captions on? Is there captions on? Yeah. There should be anyway. They're not working though. Um, there we go. So what I got out of this basically, be careful how we judge other people. Uh, other people, um, the same standard in which we used to judge people will will be held to us. If we expect much of others, much will be expected of us, and uh, love people well. Chat, what do you guys get out of this? Today's reading was uh, pretty short, pretty to the point, which is uh, another reason I, I kind of uh, I'm fond of uh, the book of Matthew. Tell it how it is. Don't sugarcoat it. And um, yeah. And uh, the, the thing about the golden rule is not only is it biblical, but it's one of the fundamentals on which uh, man also agrees on and science. And I like to use the analogy to paint the image that, uh, you know, if you add hate to hate, you get more hate. If you add love to love, you get more love. But only love can counteract hate. Uh, so if so if we if we continue to you know oh I just gotta hate you harder I gotta just yell at you and tell you why I'm right and you're wrong we're not gonna win anybody over like that and then uh, you know so so science says if if uh, if an object in motion stays um, um, an object in motion stays in motion until it's acted on by an equal and opposite of force we'll call those forces love and hate um, man says treat people how you want to be treated. And, um, of course, you know, the, the Bible says do unto others as you would have done unto you. And it also says, love your neighbor as yourself. Can't fire it fire with fire. No matter what Metallica says. True. Every time you hear the gospel read, it brings tears to your eye. Everyone can try to, uh, try to be a better person tomorrow than we are today. Amen. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like to focus on, uh, Romans three twenty three, which is a fantastic verse, by the way. Um, they miss Romans three twenty four, and of course that is uh, for all have all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So it isn't that you know it it, it isn't that we messed up. It isn't that we got it wrong. The only thing that uh, that 
the the only thing that um that separates us from the from the non-believer is that grace that Jesus is that that Jesus has given us as a free gift as long as we're willing to uh, to to take it other than that zero difference and uh you know the idea that we're supposed to be perfect is is just frankly never going to happen it would be cool uh cuz as a perfectionist I would love to be perfect but um yeah Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to play a different game tonight. I'm not going to play uh, Overwatch, uh, which was my initial plan. Instead, I am. Um, come on. I, I, I was going to play Rocket uh, Rocket League. I'm going to play Overwatch. I feel like I may have said that wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going to play Rocket League. Um, I am going to go ahead and update my stream raiders. And that free gift is important. Uh, you know, we have the option of saying freely, uh, freely accepting that gift, um, or we can we can say no. I mean, th that is the whole idea behind free will. And um, you know, there there's there's people that, um, huh? Oh, I'll I'll get it. Um, I'm I'm going to do it through the. Um, no, I'm going to do it through Restream. Um, thank you, though. There we go. That should uh, that should be updating. And guys, if uh, if you guys uh have any questions, any comments like that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a pastor or anything like that. I don't claim to be a, um, a biblical expert, but, uh, you know, I, I'll do the best I can, uh, to find the answers. And of course we can, we can, uh, you know, travel that road together. Um, if anybody does have any prayer requests, feel free to drop into the discord. Let me know. Um, we start our streams, um, typically with uh, Bible reading, then we get into some games and we, we always close with prayer, whether, uh, we do Bible reading or not. Really, the only time we don't do uh, Bible reading is on the weekends because we're going through the F-260 plan. It's fine to be part of the 99, but each of us uh, is that one that God and Jesus would fight for. Absolutely. He, he, he would leave the 99 in, in, a, in a moment to go after the one, and we are indeed the one. Um, we're all broken, and... You know we're all we're all in need of a savior, and uh, Jesus freely gave us His mercy and His grace. And, uh, as uh, as Ephesians two verses four through six, but but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which He which He loved us, even when we when we were dead in our trespasses. So before we knew Him, made us alive together with Christ by grace. It's, we have been saved and raised up with Him and seated uh, seated us with Him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And uh, guys, we are we are currently still doing a charity stream. We are uh, raising money for uh, Compassion International. We're trying to um, basically get an internet library going, uh, get more people uh, in with um, internet in uh, Bolivia. If you guys want to donate, there's the link uh, for for where you guys can donate. Um, I didn't post on D Live, so I'm manually going to do that one, but. Uh, there we go. And again, you know, no requirement to give. If you guys can't uh, give for any reason whatsoever, there's there's no problem at all. I just want to uh, I want to make sure that I that I broadcast that um, as far as I can. And if we if we do hit that uh, two thousand dollar goal by uh, by the end of Friday, which I won't be streaming on Friday, but uh. If, if we hit my personal goal of $2,000, we'll be shaving the beard and we'll be shaving the eyebrows. And I think it's, uh, you know, th things that I'm passionate about, anything that's cancer related. My, I watched my mom fight cancer for 10, uh, for 10 years. Uh, anything veteran related, I served um, our country for 18 years. And children, as a, as a dad, I, th I think uh, children are, um, are very much priceless. And um, this, 
this is uh, this fits one of those three categories that I am passionate about. So anybody that can give, please uh, feel free to do so. And if and again, if you can't, no, please don't feel guilty. Let's see, game capture. It is being picky. There we go. And caption stopped again. Wonderful. So guys, how's everyone's week been so far? Have you guys done anything uh, fun and exciting? Overwatch Anniversary Remix Volume 2. This this has a Guardians of the Galaxy feel to it. Why? Hmm. Hey, we got an anniversary loot box. Let's go. And Trovo didn't change, so I'm going to have to manually do, do that one. I thought uh, Restream would do it for me. I stand corrected. There we go. And I do need to reopen Stream Raiders and get that battle underway so that we can um, we can do battle together. That six anniversary chest. Let's see what we got, guys. So far, nothing good. It is what it is. And thus far out of the $2,000 goal, as you can, as you guys can see in the lower part of uh, your, uh, of your screen, we have raised 385. Again, if anybody wants to, uh, wants to contribute to that exclamation point charity, we will get you the link. Um, Why does captions keep stopping? It's very much annoying. Uh, just driving and delivering. Um, Goods to Dollar General stores so far, 1,650 miles for for the week, and seven stores restocked. Oh, nice. Well done, man. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and exit this event so that we can start the next event. Stream Raiders uh, coming up. If you guys want to get in on that, streamraiders.com slash teach slash speak over 85. And we'll do battle in about uh, half an hour, give or take. Oh, excuse me. And now we're going to go ahead and get back into some Overwatch. Which I haven't played in a little bit, but we'll see. Don't expect anything legendary. And if anybody does play Overwatch and they want to get in on uh, on it with me, let me know. The only thing I ever ask is to be mindful that we're a family-friendly stream. And whether you're good at the game, bad at the game, or somewhere in between, or as this game in particular, I tend to lean a little closer to the bad side. Um, Rocket League, I would say that I'm slightly above average. And guys, if you're uh, if you're new in chat and you're lurking, um, if you're comfortable with it, tell me a little about uh, a little bit about yourself. Where you, where are you guys from? What kind of games do you guys like to play? Obviously, when you know, when 
you know, keep it keep it brief. Attackers Most places, Dollar General is like the only grocery store for 50 miles. Oh, interesting. So you're in a uh, very, very small area. Hello? Anyone out there? We've, uh... We've actually got a uh, Piggly Wiggly down the road from us. Those aren't too common anymore. Across the street from a Dollar General. Hey, what's going on, Ophelia? I did indeed say Piggly Wiggly. How you doing? Those aren't very common anymore. I I uh, I know of three. One in Mississippi, one in Alabama, and one in Oklahoma. How's it going, Evan? Hope you're doing well. How's your brother? How's your family? Missed you guys uh, Wednesday. Passed by one on the way back from uh, Axton last month. Couldn't believe your eyes. Yeah, they're uh, they're definitely not common anymore. South, uh, South Dakota and uh, Wyoming also. All right. You guys are doing good. Awesome. Glad to hear that. I did go ahead and read through uh, the very first part of what... what uh, oh, I died. Um, oh, oh man, I did I went on ahead and uh, went through the first part of uh, what we were going to cover uh, Wednesday. Um, just kind of tried to prepare ahead of time. Your Piggly Wiggly has an Ace. Uh, oh, never mind. That's my wife's. Uh, yep, ours has Ace hardware, um, which is uh, which is fantastic. Groceries and hardware all in one. I'm really shocked that they're not pushing this point harder. I should have shifted, but I didn't. I'm gonna get you for that. Evan, if you're still there, tell your brother I said hello. Oh, they doing? They did finally push the point. Guys, if anybody wants to jump in with me, let me know. Ah, poop. Getting on my nerves. And they got it. Hey guys, if you do play Overwatch, who is your favorite character? It looks like my captions crapped out again. Let me see if I can fix it. Uh, I really need to find a, another plan. Wow, that Hanzo is just really on it today.
Never played Overwatch? Do you generally like first person shooters? Particularly uh, non realistic ones, but just in general, I guess. If that answer is no, then it's probably not your game. But if the answer is yes, you might want to check it out. It's not terribly expensive. If you have played uh, some Overwatch characters. Yeah, they're vastly different on Hero of the Storms. Of course, you're talking about a mobile, a mobile game versus... Um, versus a uh, first-person shooter. That's that one. I stick that for my Don't worry, my friend. Tracer and Lucio. Right on. Those are fun characters to play in this game. One's, uh, I assume that it's the same on Heroes of the Storm. I don't play that as much as you, but uh, one's DPS, one's, uh, one's heal. Man, the Hanzo was really good. Did that not throw? That was weird. Did he? Oh, he stunned me right as I threw it. That was interesting. Give me a moment to think. Lucy is an uh, is an annoying healer, super hard to kill. He's uh, eh, on on here. It's it's very hit and miss. Sometimes he's hard to kill. Sometimes he's not. He's got some uh, he's got some fantastic mobility. So if you're good with mobility, he he tends to be on the hard side. Me that Hansel's really good. I'm gonna get you for that. As a healer, I like him just because uh, he has a constant heal uh, um, thing. Agree the same uh, same in uh, Heroes of the Storm. Okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully people don't say anything uh, negative. If they do, I apologize. Never know. Um, really? That was for play of the game? There's so many plays that I thought better than that. None of mine, but... And of course, guys, Stream Seed is launching on the 30th of the month. If you guys aren't already checking them out and you're, you're a streamer, might want to check them out. There, there'll be some cool things coming in the future. Uh, on that note, we are still doing a charity stream. Uh, this will be my last 
um, stream for the event, but uh, it will end tomorrow. Um, if we hit that 2000 goal, my personal goal, um, we're going to shave the beard and the eyebrows. If we don't, that's okay. The kids will still um, receive the benefit of whatever we do raise, and uh, it, it's it's for a great cause. Compassion International, if you guys aren't uh, aren't familiar with them, they are a, a nonprofit organization that um, basically helps uh, helps uh, sow seeds into ministry in, in children and and all that stuff. You got our walk for life uh, in a couple of weeks with everything that's going on. We need uh, we need all the prayer. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you wouldn't mind, uh, drop that into the um, the prayer request, and we will uh, we will go ahead and be praying about that. Missionary Gamer, thank you for uh, for that raid. Hope you're doing well, sharing the gospel with the raid. Um, gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserve the wrath that is to come. But Jesus, the Messiah, died for our sins, was buried, and then raised on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into into heaven, and right now is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to, to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Attackers gospel. Incoming in 30 seconds. And guys, if you're not already following Missionary Gamer, go and check him out. He is uh, he's the guy that created this uh, fantastic um, Bible verse bot that we that we're able to use. He's also developed uh, another game uh, called Scattered Wisdom. So super talented uh Super talented guy, and um, with every death comes doing some wonderful things. With honor. Off to dinner. Hope you have a blessed stream. Hey man, you have a wonderful dinner. Thank you for that uh, for that raid. Thank you for trusting me with uh, with your community. Leaving us with uh, Revelations uh, twenty two twenty one. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. Amen. Indeed. And I have found. Uh, as as one that struggles to memorize where the scripture is located, um, between between that bot and um, and the um, and the U version Bible app, they're fantastic tools. They help a ton. Slowly getting better at uh, not knowing just what it says, but where it says it. And I think that's an important thing. Um, you know, not not for the sake of writing scriptures on your heart, of course. But uh, when we're talking to people that aren't believers, um, and someone asks, where is that located? I, I feel like the worst disservice that we can give them is to tell them it's in the Bible. Well, duh. Uh, what is that? Is that big player? Uh, trying to read blue on blue. I apologize if I'm struggling with that. I uh, hope you're doing well. And uh, I'm doing pretty good. It's been a busy, uh, busy week. How's your week been going? Start over at the beginning. And as always, guys, if anybody wants to jump in uh, to some extra life with, uh, or not, uh, sorry, some Overwatch with me, oh, I cannot talk tonight. Um, let me know. The only thing I ever ask is to be mindful that we're a family-friendly stream. Whether you're good at the game, bad at the game, or somewhere in between. Jeez. Oh, and of course, guys, um, for anybody that that has the means to be able to do so, we are currently doing a uh, doing a stream on behalf of Compassion International. Um, I was talking about that just a little bit ago. Um, if you guys don't have the means to give, please, please don't feel bad about it. Uh, but if you would, if you could be so kind as to share that link with your friends and family, I would appreciate it. But anybody that does have uh, have the means to give, uh, consider it, pray about it. Um, if we raise. Um, if we raise 2000 on this stream um, before Friday, which is the last day of the event, we're going to shave my beard and my eyebrows. Um, if I don't do that on Friday, um, because we hit 2000, I will be doing that live on the next stream. If we hit it tonight, I'll be doing it during this stream. But uh, currently, we've raised $385. Uh, they have a bigger goal. 
with uh, with everybody else of 50000 and that will go to fund uh, internet and uh, computer labs for children in Bolivia. Doing good. Just got home from work. We're out. Long day for you too, huh? How's your week been? My uh, my day seems like it has uh, that at work seemed like it just drug on and on. Scamzy, how's it going? Welcome. Hope you're doing well, man. Not much. Just playing some uh, playing some Overwatch, trying to raise some uh, some money for uh, Compassion International. Oh man, I jumped right into that. Um, how are you doing? How's your how's your week been? Really need some heals. That is the one drawback to Hanzo. He's he's got decent um, DPS, but man, ooh, that was smart. That was like really smart. I'll have to remember, try to remember that when I'm on offense. Uh, your Saint uh, Baldrick fundraising team is next week. You'll say goodbye to your hair on stream, but you're not going bald. Just gonna just gonna shave it all off. Right on. For for a good cause, it's always worth a little bit of torture, isn't it? Um, I don't know about you, but I I, I when I think about uh, when I think about uh, what's going on in these uh, kids' lives, I think about the, the the struggles that they that they endure on a daily basis, and uh, you know. For me, I just have one minor little bit. I, I have no eyebrows for a little while or whatever if I hit my goal. Um, but these kids, you know, they, they, they battle they, they battle things every day. Uh, disease, not having necessities. And, you know, in, in this day and age, I would argue that uh, the Internet is very much uh, a necessity, um, especially when you want to start reaching out um, for help or things like that um or trying to get help for mental health issues and uh and you can't because um because you know you you don't have internet or whatever um just playing fortnite uh, with with your friend and uh streaming on trovo to five people nice gansy let me uh let me pull you up dude um of course, I'll have to make sure that uh, the tab is. Uh, um, there we go. You got mature on, so I got, I got, uh, I got, I got it, uh, got it muted. And the really cool thing about Trovo, of course, is, is it says whoever pulls you up. But um, let's see. It's been good. Nothing too much. Been working. Uh, been going on on your end. Just working, working out, gaming. That's it. Don't uh, don't get out much. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. You know, getting getting out can be a good thing sometimes. It could be a bad thing sometimes. Um, and you know, for the last two years, and a lot of and in a lot of ways, it's it's been a bad thing. So. What, what kind of games do you like to play and um what it, when it comes to working out uh what what is your favorite muscle group to work traveling to hanamura prepare your defenses select your hero let's see we are defending Symmetra seems to be a pretty decent defender on this map The true enemy of humanity is disorder. Oh, Scamzy, there's no way I can uh, that I can do with a keyboard that small. If you're a minimalist, though, that is an amazing keyboard. 
I, I like much larger keyboards myself. So has anybody got any big plans uh, for for this weekend? Was it just going to be a kind of fill at home kind of week, or play mostly uh, old school games, Super Mario, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Street Fighter, Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtles, Mortal Kombat, Do uh, Double Drive? Those are all classics, man. I love it. What is your favorite Mortal Kombat? My favorite is uh, three and four. I used to be super amazing at those. Oh, geez. I'm not going to get hidden. Oh, I tried. Oh, that was so unfortunate. And uh, Double Dragons, have you played? Uh, I, I assume you probably have, but um, Battletoads and Double Dragons? There is still much to be done. And uh, Ninja Turtles, you've, you've heard that they're remastering like the uh, the original for Nintendo, right? Uh, but you're going to be able to play as Master Splinter and uh, April O'Neil. I'm pretty excited about that. They're going to take that. Dang it. I'm not going to be able to get there fast enough. Oh, jeez. A momentary lapse. Oh, every, every one of those games, um, I have uh, I have played and and loved them all. Uh, workout, you mostly go for walk, lifting weights, and um, sometimes dance, uh, dancing games. Okay, so like, uh, we talking like uh, DDR Max, or, um, or are we talking, um, huh? yeah, just dance, or, um, A momentary lapse. or, uh, or something else in, in all of its entirety. Should have popped one right up there. Maybe I'll do that on the uh, next go around. I can honestly say, uh, as far as the dancing games uh, go, they're fun to play, but I am terrible at all of them. Battle Toads and Double Dragons. Yeah. Double Dragons. Uh, Billy or Jimmy? Ironically, I prefer Jimmy. Oh! <clears throat> How did that reach me? That was amazing. Play of the game. 
Yeah, I agree. That's going to be play of the game. That was actually a decent... Uh... Oh, it's actually not the one I thought it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they got a lot more things there. That was a good boom. Hi, cat. Uh, you only play just dance, and there's uh, there's other ga dance games uh, called Dance Central, and I don't have I haven't heard of uh, Dance Central. You go with Billy, okay? Fair enough. Select your hero. Uh, we're attacking on Hanamura. Um, I don't know if this will be a good call or not. I might switch to a tank. Camera's right there. Kitty kitty. Capture objective A. Let's get to work. I have big ones for you. You and your brothers used to play, um, Double Dragon 2 on the NES. I uh, can't tell you how many times you played that game because you play a lot nice. I don't know if I'll be able to do this or not, but I'm going to try. Nope, that did not work at all. I need to heal. I didn't get to heal. I'm overloading. Oh wow. Okay, so they've got one too. Which means that my idea would not work. So maybe ought to go with Symmetra and get it done that way. Yeah, I don't know how, how many hours I invested in um, Battletoads and Double Dragons. Although on the uh, on the original Nintendo, the game that I really loved to play was uh, Super C. very well and come to think of it and speaking of super c uh when we went over to the sega i really enjoyed um contra 3 give us a uh, contra 3 hard corpse or hardcore rather i guess At least, I, I hated the short guy but he always worked best for everything 
They're supposed to drop that uh, TMT, uh, TMNT Cowabunga sometime this year. Yeah, that's uh, that's the reboot of the uh, original one, isn't it? Is that what they decided to call the reboot? Uh, and if, if so, that's going to be uh, that's going to be the one where you can play Splinter in April, which is which is kind of exciting. I don't necessarily want to play April, but I, I'd be excited to play some Master Splinter. What'd be also cool is if uh, you could do like the reverse and uh, play a Shredder. You know, it'd also be really cool to see. Uh, I don't know if you played it back in the day, but uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And then they ended up uh, dropping Mike Tyson from the game for some reason and just called it Punch Out. Then they made Super Punch Out, which it was decent, but it wasn't as good as the original. Shredder's Revenge. Okay. That's the one I'm excited about. And there's a good there's a good chance that it will be as painfully tough as the original, but I don't know. They, they it, to some degree they don't make games as tough as they used to be, either because you can save and uh, you can just like pick up where you last died. Or they just, you know, make it to where it's actually beatable. Whereas back in the day, it was like we're gonna we're gonna challenge some people to do their absolute wits end. Hopefully the search doesn't take too terribly long. Speaking of uh, old school games, are there any one, any games that you guys, um, anybody watching, would like to see come out with a reboot? Traveling to Nepal. I think uh, a reboot that I would like to see, at least in terms of fighting games, is uh, Battle Arena Toshiden. Select your hero. They're supposed to release that game last year, but because of COVID, they had to postpone, which is understandable. Yeah, yeah, it definitely hurt uh, the the um, developer, the gaming development um, department a lot. Your safety is my primary concern. All systems operational. Diva, ready for combat. Oh, I just realized we got a Stream Raider uh, battle that is ready to go as well. Go ahead and uh, transition over to that. We got a we got a handful of people on in the, on the battlefield. Good luck. I'm going to continue playing Overwatch so that I don't Five, get kicked. Four, but uh, three, two, one. Round one. Capture. Objective. 
with it being the first level, the amount of people we have here shouldn't be an issue. It should be relatively easy. And it was. Congratulations to our um, to our winners. I'm gonna go ahead and get the next one started. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the down path because the next one after this is a green chest. The best ones for you guys are gonna be green and blue. So try to get you guys the best loot that we can. Thank you. Big player, thank you so much for that uh, for that follow. Appreciate you hanging out, by the way. Oh, that was a nice look. I am not ready to be deactivated. I don't like him for that, but that was a good hook. Okay, so far we've got middle. Hopefully we can keep the middle. Reboot, you would say Donkey Kong. Oh, that would that would be great too. I could get behind that one. That game was uh, very uh, revolutionary for its time. I still think, uh, even uh, in terms of like Donkey Kong Country, I think uh, I think the best one there was the original. Keep expecting him to throw a hook again. Dude's got got an accurate hook. I do wish that Arisa was a faster tank. I feel like it's one of the slowest tanks there are. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Darn it. I got baited into that. Favorite uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, although you had a ha had issue with that game as a little kid, like as in as in dying or just uh, not enjoying it as much as the rest, or. What was the uh, what was your what was your issue with it? Why didn't I stay inside that? That was dumb. Score zero to one. What about Smash Brothers? Are you a fan of it? 
I know you mentioned Street Fighter, and you mentioned Mortal Kombat, and a bunch of other old school games. So like, old school games fighting. Are you a fan? To be working with you again, Doctor Ziegler. And under better circumstances too. Three, two, one. Oh, trouble looks like it's way behind. Going to, to go ahead and do a uh, refresh right there. There we go. Hit for nothing. Uh, anyone that takes uh, anyone take that classic video game test that was on Twitter? No, I didn't. How's it going, Pedro? Does it tell you what what kind of classic game uh, you would you would like, or what was the purpose of it? At the level from World Three, where you have to jump into the barrel, tilt it in a different direction for some reason, had trouble clearing it. It's like, oh, okay, I think I uh, vaguely remember that. Two was probably the one I played the least of. It's kind of like Mario 2 in that rego uh, regards. Although, although I kind of dismiss Mario 2 as being part of Mario, I don't necessarily dismiss um, Donkey Kong Country 2 as being part of Donkey Kong. Oh my gosh, they're killing us before we ever get anything going. Guys, if anybody has any prayer request, again, uh, there's there's the link. Uh, we are still doing um, a charity stream, currently at three hundred and eighty-five dollars of a two thousand dollar goal. If we hit it, I'll be shaving my beard and eyebrows. If we don't, uh, you know, the, the children will still be benefiting from that. What's going on, Bertrand? Mario Three was your favorite, then Mario World. Uh, for me, it was the original Mario, then uh, probably uh, then Mario World, and then Mario Three. Though 64 was fun too. Uh, Mar Mario one was great. Mario Kart original was pretty great too. Yes, yes. I actually, I have actually enjoyed all of the Mario Karts. Um, I will say that each each revision of that one they've made, I feel like they've gotten better. Ertra, what was the oldest game that you've played, or the oldest console you've played? Um, for me, it was uh, it, it, it's pre uh, Atari twenty six hundred. It it was me. It was a system made by Radio Shack that uh, featured three different uh, three, uh, three different uh, variants of Pong, and it was um, it was fun. I was um, terrible at it. I could never beat my dad, but it was fun.
Oh. Uh, you remember playing Asteroids? Yeah, that one. Uh, that one was really hard. If you moved your spaceship, any. It was it was one of those games. It wasn't uh, it wasn't too too bad as long as you stayed centered. Hey man, about to go out and eat. Uh, it was good chatting with you about getting some games. Might come back later. If not, uh, you have a blessed day. Hey you too. I appreciate you hanging out for a bit. God bless. Uh, enjoy your meal, and uh, we will hopefully see you later. Hang on, you uh, you stepped away, but uh, couldn't respond. No, no worries, Pedro. Welcome back. Did I uh, say change my beard? No, I said shave, shave the beard and the eyebrows. Um, if we hit that two thousand dollar goal by uh, by the time that uh, this Compassion International uh, event ends, this is my last stream. But I but I'll take anything that um, that. Um, happens tomorrow as well uh, again we are doing this on behalf of uh, compassion international and um big fan of smash brothers yeah my, me too i think my kids enjoy it too um i'm terrible at it um but it's fun all those old old school games are like that though they're 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 all like shaving a brow cut two bits and a bum bum but um tiss. I'm still new at this. Hello. This objective has my name written all over it. For a great cause, but you don't know if you could if you could support that. Here's the way I see it. <clears throat> us, us dudes with beards gotta stick together. Here's the way I see it. The internet in this day and age is is pretty much a necessity. Right? I.e. They cannot get the, the the support they need if they wanted to reach out to somebody to talk about depression uh, by going to uh, groundmire.net or anything like that. So, you know, they're, they're locked out from that. Um, they're locked out from being able to communicate with the rest of the world. That They, they can't... Um, they, they don't have the option to learn as much. Um, yeah, yeah, total sarcasm. Yeah, 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 I, I know. But... Uh, you know, so these kids uh, struggle every day. And, of course, uh, Compassion International being who they are, these kids deal with a lot more than just not having Internet. Um, cleft palates, um, missing limbs, and they're outcasted because they're different. They're quote-unquote cursed. So, you know, if I, if I can hurt myself by shaving my, sh shaving my beard and eyebrows... And struggle a little bit in, in, in uh, you know in support of them totally worth it and I view the same thing uh, you know when I when I do things like extra life and things that support cancer things that support veterans these these are people that are going through um, real-life struggles on a day-to-day -day basis a little bit of pain and a little bit of um, harassing me because I'm missing eyebrows is it's really nothing um, it, 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 not not to me you know but if but if it makes a world of difference to them sign me up down i think it's a great thing what you guys are doing uh so blessed uh just to know all you guys are taking yeah i'm, I'm excited about it um i initially uh wasn't uh wasn't didn't think i was going to be able to be a part of that i should not have done that there he's going to blow that up as he should um oh he didn't blow that up that was not smart um Point. Chill down. Oh. I can at least save one, maybe. I am definitely not the best Overwatch player. If there's anybody, Pedro, I know you play Overwatch. If you want to play, let me know. Um, that goes for anybody else that's watching too. If you guys want to play, uh, let me know. I think I got a. Uh, I think I got a command. Um, Battle.net or Bnet or something like that. I forget what it is. Well, two out of uh, two out of three, two out of three. We at least pushed it into the uh, into the third round, and they they took the win. Play of the game. 
Let you finish dinner. You jump on. Sounds good, man. And I'm no kind of a, I'm no kind of amazing at this game. By any stretch of the imagination, I do occasionally have um, amazing moments where I'm like, I'm not playing like me, dude. Did you see all those kills I just got? Which is totally not normal. But uh, in general, I would say that uh, I am below average at this game. I try to call things as I see it. Um, Rocket League, I'm, I would say that I'm slightly above average. Uh, Overwatch, below average. Should you like light the beacon? Of course. Of course. Yeah, validate. I think it's BNAT. Maybe it's not. Um, well, it's just going to be difficult. All right, I'll just do this. And while I'm at it, uh, we'll do... Okay, it says that there's already a trigger with that. Interesting. And Trovo says, no, I don't want to do it. <clears throat> Start searching. And while we're searching, we can be opening chest. Just to kind of minimize the uh, the time to wait. Welcome <clears throat> to Junkertown. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. Okay, we're defending on Junkertown. Hmm. Offense usually likes to go with a Bastion on this one. I'll think I'll try to go Genji. We'll see how that works. I'll enjoy the quiet. Well, I was getting ready to uh, post that command, but it read my mind. Uh, we are still currently doing a... Um, a charity event for Compassion International. If you guys are interested in donating on behalf of that, uh, please uh, click that link. If you guys can't for any reason, uh, no worries at all. Uh, if you would just be so kind as to share that link with your family, with your friends, I would appreciate it. There's the Bastion, and I called it. They also had a turret that I was able to uh, get. I couldn't get to everybody, but it's kind of a really terrible ricochet on my part, but we'll take it. It is what it is. And guys, we are still working on that uh, four viewer average on Trovo. If you guys are interested in supporting over there, it's uh, Trovo.live slash bgilbert85. How did that not get destroyed? So they got the expected people here. They've got Torb and they've got um, got Bastion. No surprises at all. They are moving that pretty pretty quickly though. Huh? Oh, did not see. Uh, Okay, well, 
These guys are working very well together. And they only have one tank and half a healer. This is not going to go well for us. I got meleeed. The battle continues. Mm. My spirit grows strong. Heroes never die. Ah, what? Did a dash and it was absolutely ineffective. Completely ineffective. Guys, if you if you play Overwatch, who's your favorite character? Let us hope for a different outcome. Reinhardt. So you you tend to prefer tanks, huh? Oh my gosh, these guys are so good. I can't even can't even get an alt. I mean, I have an alt, but it's like trying to find the right spot to use it, and I just can't. <sighs> Darn it. Game. Reinhardt is uh, is is one of the characters that uh, when my son was playing this actively, he he got pretty decent with Reinhardt. If we did a Reinhardt to Reinhardt battle, I'm I'm 100% sure he would have taken me. Um, totality, not so much, but you know. That's more like it. I have improved with Reinhardt a lot, but I'm still absolute garbage with them. Getting ready to fire it up. Uh, you do chat on yet? Yeah, yeah. The only thing, um, as as always, uh, and I know it's not an issue with you, is uh, the only thing I ever ask is to be mindful that uh, that we're family friendly. Always like to um, remind people of that, even when I know that uh, it won't be an issue. Just, just because you never know um, who is who is new, who's trying to get a feel for the community, uh, who's like, hey, what do you, what do you, what do you support? And you know, I, I kind of say that out there, just so that everybody's on the same page. Uh, I don't know if I have you on here or not. Um, I don't feel like I do. Yep, yep, can't use words like stinky. Obviously, I'm kidding, but... Uh, I've had some some people on here that just have had no regard whatsoever for the concept of family friendly, and you know I I get slip ups happen. I'm not concerned with the people that you know make make a genuine oops. I'm talking about the people that just 
don't care. Um, it's it's really unfortunate when when people are like that. They're just like, oh, I'm gonna say whatever I want because I know you're live. You know, sometimes is the case, and uh, that's you know unfortunate. It is what it is. What do we do, huh? And there's my Discord should you need it. And if anybody else needs any prayer request uh, or, or anything like that, um, feel free to join as as well. Put in your prayer request. Let me know. Why is that not working? I clearly made, made a command with it, but... Um, Oops, didn't mean to send that, but oh well. Anyways, we are doing a um, doing a fundraiser for uh, Compassion International for anybody that is uh, new here and did not know. I was trying to post my uh, battle.net thing that I copied and pasted earlier, and then I re-went over that, and yeah. Just for some reason, my bnet command is not working. Put that in Restream Mayo so that it goes out to the other um, places where we're live as well. Or at least the, the bulk of them. It won't go to all of them. Um, it doesn't get LinkedIn or uh, Twitter, for example. But it does get uh, Twitch, Facebook, DLive, YouTube, and Trovo. Um, doesn't get Theta either, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'll catch as many as I can. And we'll make deal. And while you're loading up, Pedro, I'm going to go ahead and um, just open up these chests. That way it'll give you some time to uh, get things loaded up. Not a lot, because I don't have a whole bunch of um, chest, but... Guys, anybody play Mortal Kombat? Uh, I want to say it was 4. It may have been 5. But uh, Tanya, does this skin remind anybody of Tanya? So every time I see that that one, that's that's what I think. And guys, if you are struggling with uh, any mental health issues, PTSD, depression, anxiety, or any other mental health related issues, uh, we've got some resources there for you, especially if you're having thoughts of hurting yourself or somebody else. Uh, feel free to call 1-800-273-8255. Um, you could also go to mentalhealthgracealliance.org, freshhope.us. You could also text HOME to 741741. Or if you're looking to connect with somebody that can, uh, that can help you with uh, depression or anything like that, or, or any other life issues for that matter, through a biblical lens, feel free to check out groundwire.net. I do need to update that command at some point. Guys, I will be right back. I'm going to go grab a, grab a drink. Oops, wrong button. Let's try that again. Um, there we go. Be right back.
All right, we are back. Can I send Battle.net one more time? Yes, I can. There you go. And uh, we have a Stream Raider battle. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Should be a relatively easy battle. Uh, congratulations to um, Ma Gilbert getting that random reward. We are going to do a hard uh, greed chest. Sent me a friend request. All right. I heard it come through. And uh, guys, if you want to get in on the next battle, there is the link for you guys. Uh, which voice channel am I in? I'm actually in on my own Discord. Um, I can jump to an AOG one if you need me to. Um, but presently I am in the, uh, streaming voice chat. The pog one. Yes, sir. A point of grace. Do you have a preference on uh, whether you want to do um, quick play or mystery heroes? Of course, quick play, you're uh, guaranteed to get an alt at some point, regardless of how bad you are. Mystery heroes, you got to play a little, uh, a little more skillfully if you want that alt. A lot more skillfully. I probably just need to put more time into this, but I'm always so busy playing Rocket League. Now traveling. Epitome, thank you for that uh, extra biblically lurk. Hope you're doing well. For battle. Select your hero. I need to update that command as I have come to realize that it doesn't matter if the stream is muted or not. Okay, we're on Basan. We are attacking. What's the? We have no healer. We'll go Lucio. Come on, let's bring it together. Look at this team. We're gonna do great. <clears throat> Hansel to the right. Oh, sorry, Pedro. I tried to get to you. to hurry up and get now I think you're in the right voice chat I will check in a moment 
I don't hear you. But it is possible that I need to do something with your permissions. Dead. I'm going to check the uh, Discord real quick. Yeah, I'm not seeing you. Oh, you're in general for some reason. Here, I'll just jump in general. There we go. Hey, there you are. What's up, man? Not much. How's it going? It is going very well. Living the dream as always. Oh, yeah. How's it Looks like the stream's going pretty well so far. Yeah, so far. Always. You are a better man than me if you get your limit. Shaving your beard and eyebrows. I cannot do that. <laughs> so far, I'm safe. But, uh, you know, if somebody comes in, God lays it on their heart that, you know, they, they want to drop. The, the full amount or a big amount and then some other people want to jump in because they feel led or whatever oh, turn it up. all the glory indeed yeah it's funny uh, you know i'm a seminary student i was actually talking about this like, this whole charity to the dean of my school the other day nice him, he's like i heard you do evangelism online i go well i'm a twitch streamer i'm hanging out with a bunch of christians <laughs> and we do this and I told him about this charity. to go, yeah, all my friends are doing this thing to get internet to Bolivia. And I would just talk about, like, all the ones, like, how DJ Para did her one for, yeah. you know, helping out adoption. And Shade did her one for human trafficking. I'm like, man, I got some... Who would have thought God can use video games of all things? Oh, absolutely. And that's, uh, you know, that's that's one of the uh, interesting things about the church I attend. Uh, uh -oh. is, is our pastor's like... You know, he, he, he sometimes brings it up. He's like, you know, he tells the congregation that I've got an interesting ministry that, uh, you know, I, I reach people on Twitch. And, uh, I don't really see myself as a, as, as, a, as a minister. I mean, he's not wrong, but at the same time, you know, there's there's that how I see it. And uh, it, he, he, he's, he's all for it, though. Oh, yeah, that, that's awesome. I mean, my church just makes fun of me for it, but you know, that, that's normal. <laughs> Nah, well, like, we're, we're used to out-of-the-ordinary things like that, you know? I'm at a small church plant, so we're pretty flexible, like, to do whatever we do that works. And when they found out I did this, yeah, they made fun of me, but they're like, wait a minute, you had conversations with people? I mean, are we going to make fun of them? Yeah, but, I mean, it's absolutely kind of cool. Kinda cool. Uh, and, you know, and, and a little rousing in the in the grand scheme of things is, is nothing. Oh, that, that's just, these are just my buddies who do that, though. Like, that's just, you know. Oh, yeah. Them being, yeah. It's, it's kind of like having uh, mods in a stream, right? Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, don't remind me. I got one, I got one mod who loves to make herself known. <laughs> you may have heard of her. Her name is DJ Tara. <laughs> I, I think I've heard, heard of her once. Goes by, uh, she goes by the alias of a child prodigy genius or something like that. Yeah, something along those lines, you know, pro, yeah, uh, everything, pro yeah. piano player, pro <laughs> solver, rocket league player, Fortnite player, yeah. Ooh, got it. That's the hit I want, but I took it, knocked him out of the way. I was fixing to punch him. Got to get to the rest of the team. I was just I was talking to people about it. It's like, you know, like, especially because Twitch is kind of such a, I'm going to choose my words very carefully, a uber competitive thing. I can definitely tell people, what's for, like, the community up here? I would have called it Twitch a long time ago. Oh, absolutely. Like, there is a, it's so cheesy to say God is on the move on Twitch, but just look at this whole, like, the last two weeks, what he's been doing with his charity stream. For sure. Like, tell me he's not, and then look at the results of that. 
Alright, I'm getting ready to use my ult, so when they line up around here, be ready. Or if they want to stay away, that's cool too. <laughs> oh yeah, make it easy on us. I bet you they're going to route around to the left. Oh, totally. Hunt up, they're here to come already. I'm going to run up there and see if I can poop. Oh, he's not going to give me that. Oh, okay. that. oh, yeah, he did. Oh. They're trying to split up, but it's not going to do him any good, I'll tell you right now. Got the Lucio. Hanzo almost gave me the luxury of that. I almost booped him. I was playing with Joshi last night. He actually took out a Reinhardt just like that with a Wrecking Ball while he had a shield up just straight up and knocked him out. It was hilarious. I can't believe he actually got that off. I've never seen half a wolf, though. That was weird. Um, Mercy coming in clutch. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh my was... Boom, look at that. There we go, there we go. All right, this round's a lot better than the last one coming at least. Hansel's coming. Got him. Saved our Hanzo. Nice! Boom, look at that. GG's, GG's on all fronts. That was a that was a solid round right there. I'm happy with how that one went. First one's kind of rough for me, but this one's better. <laughs> well, because I was, you know, when you're trying to bounce back and forth, I was like, wait, are we in the right general one? Are we this? Are we that? And then I muted your stream, so it would distract me from the game. And then I yeah, no worries. Oh, crap, you trying to talk to me? I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's no worries. Oh yeah. Wait, ooh, look at you get on the board. Hey, that's rare. Nah, you did good. <laughs> it, it, it occasionally happens. It's rare. Nah, you're just you're you're just stacking yourself enough credit. <laughs> Ooh, that's not bad. Three silver medals. I'll take it. I got a I got a bronze and three golds. Nothing for you. Nothing for damage though. First. I, I had an I had an insane game last night where Welcome I had like a career best in like everything. Oh, nice. Eh. Last game of the night, too, so Ooh, uh, I was like, Junker you know, this, is, this is a great time to raid it, as far as I can tell. Oh, only one tank. All right, back to tank, then. Mm. See, uh, I'm trying to get into uh, more DPS characters recently. Gotcha. Yeah, just because of uh, when I meet a lot of people, a lot of us play Science like either tank or healer. Truth. Interesting. Yeah, so I was like, all right. We, 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 we need more DPS folks. Like, we have six to you who can play just about everything. And then we got, you know, Joshi who can play just about everything. And then, like, Shades plays with Tank. Shockingly, you'd think she'd be a sniper or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dabster, who's, like, a super good support character. Yeah, I, uh, I, I like to play Hanzo. And, and, and when I'm having a good day with Hanzo, I'm... I'm I'm actually pretty, pr pretty tough to deal with. I I was watching that earlier. I was like, this guy has got more patience than I do. Cause I think I tried Hanzo <laughs> once, and I'm like, you know what? I'll pass. Today's definitely not a good day for Hanzo. <laughs> oh man, when it is. I took out that. Here comes some heals. All right, got the halo moving. Take out the shield. Got okay, heals coming your way. Thank you. Ooh, boom. There we go. Double kill. Thank you for the heals. Appreciate that. Yep. Coming in clutch. Well, I lit the beacon. I put in my uh, Discord server. I was like, hey, dudes. Jumping on with Gilbert if anyone wants on. Nice. Done God's hands at this point now. Absolutely. Well, I know. I think Josh works late tonight. Dabster's moving houses right now. And I don't know where Shades is. I haven't spoken to her all week, so she's probably, like, working right now. She's had a busy week this week. Oh, yeah. Hello, Empathy. How you doing? Had to go get some heals. Thank you. Ooh. Stop there, soldier. Glad to hear you're, you're well. Oh, man, that... 
junk just Ooh, like nailed me. That, that was wild. Right, I got an ulti if I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to heal you. Ooh. I just ruined a couple of those guys' days. That was awesome. Yoda coming in clutch. Appreciate that. Appreciate yep. the heal. Am I on PC? I am. And currently playing with uh, with Pedro. Currently uh, playing Reinhardt, as you can see right there. How's it going? <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Hello, Gilbert's chat. <laughs> if you're not already following this guy, please do. He is such a cool dude. And by, by cool dude, he really means him. Go, go follow Pedro. And don't forget to vote for Pedro. No. <laughs> so that's a... <laughs> Sorry. Like, dude, what, what, do we, what do we do to have to get that, like, as merch? Like, something. So obviously, if I do, that's a lawsuit. But I'm like, what are, like... This is true. <laughs> creative things you can do. Someone suggested I should put, like, the actual design, vote for Pedro, but they cross out Pedro and put my actual name. Trying to look for console people to play. Uh, love your energy. Thank you. Console, I heard... I heard console. I heard console. What's up? Yeah, I, I heard they made this cross-platform. It is. I'm playing on console right now. Thank you for that uh, For that uh, follow, by the way. Uh-oh. So there you go, Empathy. They uh, they made it uh, cross-platform. So rather you're on... Unless you're just uh, trying to avoid. Ooh. Not, oh, it's not Ooh, it, It's not for ranked. Look at that. Gotcha. Clear the route. Clear the route. Oh. oh. Oh yeah, heals we came cross platform. I think last fall, and that's when. Uh, I heard they were going to. Yeah, it was kind of like will they, won't they thing. And then the day they did, I just like messaged everybody and like all the people I know in AOG who play it. I was like, guys, it's cross platform. Let's go. You'd love some quick play. Quick play is actually what we're playing right now. Um, if uh, if you want to jump in, the only thing I ever ask is to be uh, to be mindful that we're a family friendly stream. And uh, aside from that, I'm more than happy to play with anybody, regardless of how good, bad, or somewhere in between you are. Oh, I'm gonna get you some heals. What am I doing? I am, I am being stupid. Nah, you did good. It's all, it's all right, man. Oh, I had an alt I didn't use. That's what I meant. <laughs> hey, it's all good, bro. It's all good. We're making some good progress. Oh. You made more ammo. Hey, no worries. I uh. So, so you like you like to you like to heal. I like to DPS. Uh, you know that that could work. When I when I heal, I typically play uh, Moria or um, or Lucio. Depending on the map, if it's a boot map. It's Lucio for sure. I sometimes heal, but if I do, I play as Mercy. That's my way of saying I can't. Sort of one trick. Uh, mean brick. Oh man, I'm garbage with brick. I try. Oh, they got Lots me in a trap. I was, I was getting, yeah, I was getting ready to try to um, heal you up, but. Ooh. No, that's not me. I should have alerted everybody. That way they could have lit the dudes up while they're on the ground. Like Reinhardt charges great, but when you tell people what's going on or like his ult, it can be devastating. Like there's a great moment. Jay's and I do this a lot, where I did the ult, I knocked everybody down, or right when I did, she did the diva bomb right in the middle. Oh, <laughs> dang. Like, you just could hear the disappointment on the other side <laughs> of the chat. You like, know, uh, Bruce Lee ha has a quote you mentioned, you being, a, being, being one trick. Um, he said he'd, he he uh, would rather, uh, rather fight the person that has uh, practiced 10,000 kicks one time than the person that's uh, practiced one kick ten thousand times, so it's not—it's not a bad thing to have one good trick up your uh, up your alley. Where's that coming from? Oh, coming from oh the left. yep. I was gonna say that's not ours. <laughs> I knew that was way too quick to be ours. <laughs> it looks like he missed, so we're good. Oh yeah, he definitely right missed. Here. I see what he's trying to do, it just didn't work out. I mean, it was it was a good, solid try. Oh, 
Yeah. Yep, I was gonna let that do. Wow, I said that was way too soon, but dang, he got his stuff charged back up pretty quick. Oh, I'm gonna hide behind the uh, thing. Yeah, I got the shield up. An exclamation point B net should work, but it hasn't been. There we go. We're down. Or Baptiste. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? Uh, Ooh, snap. Ah, darn. Yeah. I saw that coming. Ooh. I, I, coming in blood. I, I felt like it was coming. Um. I was hoping the shield would block it. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And just walk right into the end zone. There's the football fan in me. Let's go. Look at that. GG's everyone. GG's all across. And that is my um my battle oh, net tag. Hey, let's go. What play was it? I'm curious. Oh yeah, no, this is mean. I'm sorry, this is kind of toxic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, they were lined up so well. <laughs> I, was, I saw that and I went for it. As you should have. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. That's probably the best thing I should say there. <laughs> oh man, I pushed the wrong button. I was trying to give you the like for the objective time, my B. That's okay, I didn't even give me the, uh, give me the thing. Definitely gonna add me. Alright, cool. Sounds good. And uh, if you got anything that I can pray for you about, uh, feel free to jump into the Discord. I don't know if you're a believer or not, but uh, whether you are or not, uh, that that is an open invitation if you're comfortable with it. If not, no worries. Um, and you're also welcome to uh, to jump into general chat with us. The, again, the only thing I ask is uh, to be mindful that we are uh, family friendly. Uh, Junker Town defense. Okay. Can change it up a little bit. Uh huh. Decisions, decisions. I might change it up, actually. There we go. I think I'm just going to try to try to be a half healer. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. <laughs> How often am I on? Um, I am. I I stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Um, I typically play Rocket League. That's my that's my main game. Um. But I, yeah, definitely not pro. I'm better than average at that game, but uh, definitely not pro. Um, maybe some, maybe someday. Um, and then uh, I will occasionally stream on uh, Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. Typically Fridays or family days, so that's not typically a day. Oh, a pie? We got Hanzo a pie? I got him, I got him. That brick is trying to charge me. Oh, dang, they got me out quick. Out mm. That was actually lucky how I got that Hanzo there. I will say that when I stream on Sundays, it's uh, it's typically with the Armor of God Esports team. Uh, we're, we're typically doing practice for um, Rocket League, tr try, trying to uh, perfect, a, perfect our craft. And um, little by little, we're getting better. I think I've heard of those guys, AOT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're one of us, aren't you? Yeah, I'm an AOT. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, Echo, I see you. I see you. Uh, oh, Hanzo, right side, in the back. Good, you'll uh, c definitely catch another stream sometime. Gonna hop on with some friends. Sounds good, uh, empathy. Uh, you have a uh, have a great night and enjoy the game uh, with the friends. God bless you as well. Thanks for the assist, Mercy. Wait, trying. I'm. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to hurry. There we go. Oh, that was you. Okay. Nope. That. Nope. That wasn't me. I was. Uh, I was dead. I need to stay on point. Oh, suck, Rick. 
Ooh, got the Brigetti. That was gross. I got uh, <laughs> Diva D Max. Uh, got the Sigma down. Look out. I think the, D the Diva's low. Ooh, wow, that was so close. Here, here comes everybody else. Uh, Briggs uh, shield is hurt. Right now, I'm just trying to kind of keep uh, my distance at this point. Oh, no. I got an old save. I'm just waiting for it right now. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've got eight more percent. Ooh, then I'll, I'll have ult. I got one. Uh, prayer, but I like to save it for the most part. Diva's pushing point awfully hard. Um, that's, that's another savage ult I did. I think expecting a boom. Oh. Again, and she did Reinhardt's ult and knocked everybody down, and I did the Pharah ult like right above them as they're all on the ground. Have you ever seen like those triple combos that they do sometimes? Oh yeah, those are mean. Those are insane. Oh my gosh, that Hanzo just took me right out of the sky. Yeah, that Hanzo's actually pretty stinking good, except for his ults. He's terrible with those. Oh, I, I had to watch the replay of that. He he knows what he's doing. Like, he, uh, that was nasty what he did to me. I, I gotta give him kudos though. That was a good shot. I've got you in my sights. Divas D-Max. Oh gosh. Come on, heal. There we go. Figure he's uh right, I'm gonna try to move this point back just a little bit. I'm gonna try to go yep, I'm going I'm going behind. Getting brick from behind. Briggs down. Down, I'll be back just a little bit. I went. Well, I went around. I went around to the back, and I was like, "She's got that shield in front. I'm going to go around from back." She, there's no way she can defend both. That was awesome. <clears throat> Everybody healed up. Uh, yep, I'm going up a pie. Oh, they brought a fair, fair high. Okay. Yep. I see you. I see you. She's half dead. And she's down. Double kill. Got it. Diva's fixing to die again. Oh. Hiding behind the thing. There we go. Pharaoh's dead. Not that I know what I'm doing, because I'm not great with Pharaoh, but I can definitely tell you I feel like that one doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, for sure. Pharaoh was actually the first hero I got really, really good with, and then I stopped playing with Pharaoh, and I had to relearn how to play as her. Play of the game. I've like gone through rotations where like the first like the first squad I used to play with, I got really good with Pharaoh. And then after that I got really good with Ash. And then and then I got really good with Reinhardt, and I've kind of stayed a tank ever since. I am, uh, Farah is another one that I am absolutely terrible with. I, I, I feel like I played it better than that Farah, but, you know. Yeah, I think like the first stream I did of Overwatch, I like made a big deal about Pharah. Like I even, I have her Funko Pop right behind me, so I was even like, check it out, I'm a fan. Welcome. Because that's what makes me a fan. <laughs> One of the things that uh made me a, a big fan of Genji was um when I deflected uh, Pharah's alt back at her. I was like, oh yeah, that was so satisfying. Yeah, that would about do it. I'm not gonna lie, that would totally do it. <laughs>
<laughs> we got only one tank. Okay. That's as uh, that's as cruel as it gets too. Oh, we're attacking on Blizzard. I'm excited for the new game. Like I was talking to people, I was like, you know what, guys, I'm gonna go hard. Like when second Overwatch comes out, you best believe I'm streaming it. I'm getting my AOG jersey, the hat. Like I'm gonna go hard that day. Like sweatbands. We're going five, six hours. Okay, probably not, but you know, because I'm, I'm a full-time student, seconds. so that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I uh, I didn't get in on the beta, sadly. I, I really wanted yeah, to. Yeah, it wasn't available for console people, so. I'm on PC. They were just like, no, you're not big enough. <laughs> I mean, you know. It is what it is. I think, uh, I think, I don't know, really know anyone who actually got it offered, but I, I know most of the people I know who got it, they watched another streamer for like four hours. Oh, okay. And after that, they got to drop that way. I know nice. that's how Dab, I know that's how Dabster and Shays got it. Oh, I got to do a stream raider battle real quick. Oh, I'm not even going to switch it over though. It's just my wife and I. Does she stream as well? No, no, no. She's just she's she's just uh, an active participant. You know me. Hello. How are you doing? Wow. Yeah, man, a family that games together stays together. Oh yeah, we're definitely a gamer family. Um, she and I played World of Warcraft together for uh, over ten years. She's still playing it. Um, maybe maybe the next expansion. Maybe I'll get back into it. Who knows? I'm doing well, thank you. That is awesome. It's so funny because of. Uh, oh, hello! We got a second Reinhardt here. Just gonna... It's so funny because you know my, you know I'm from a. My parents, uh, they allowed me to game and stuff, but they're always like, "Hey, you just you gotta do, what you gotta do. Church work's important. You're a master student now, so you gotta take care of that." Oh yeah. So when they found out about this, and they're like, "Hold on, wait a minute." Like, <laughs> This is a thing you do, and like people tune in. I'm like, yeah, they're like, that's so unheard of. I'm like, well, you know, yeah. I'm not the greatest streamer ever, but it 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 does help a lot. I'm, I feel like the Lord is using me effectively, and I've been able to meet some great people. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, they got a hardcore May, and she's annoying, as all Mays are. But this one's a little more than usual. Yeah, I used I used to be really terrible with her too, and then uh, I started getting I wouldn't say good, but okay. Hiya. I think that's all you ever do with me. You just get okay. I don't know. I've I've seen some that were like oh, so good. My sister's really good with me. Only like the snowball fights and stuff. That's it. Yeah, it's funny because I never told him I did this day. My parents went to go visit my sister, and then, like, my sister's like, oh, What's yeah, going on, Sinisprea? How you doing, man? Sinisprea, what's up, dude? Oh, that almost got everybody. I'm good. I made it. What is going on, my brother, Sinisprea? There we go. I'm going to bust that down real quick. And then I'm gonna... Oh, the May did the annoying May thing. Busting that wall down. They cost. They totally caused me to waste that. Oh no! Oh, he got me good. He got me good. He got me too. He down now. Oh, coming back in. Sanders, I don't know if you see it or not, but uh, you know me on YouTube. Says hello. Take care, Bob. Take care, Bob. The wrong thing. Uh, there we go. I hit the wrong stinking button. I was going to stand behind that and just, like, burn him. Boom. Take that. It is uh, somebody that is on uh, YouTube. They said hello. Are you uh, Are you multi-streaming right now? Oh, yeah. Always. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know you do the multi-broadband or multi-broadcast. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because uh, a lot of people uh, get a little humor out of when they figure out where where all I'm streaming. So right now I am uh, live on D Live, which a lot of people don't know of, and then there's uh, the main uh, three plus Trovo, so Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and Trovo, and then I'm also live on Theta and uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. Wow. Yeah. 
move. You know me, Sinner says, uh, what's going on? Back to you. Ideally, chat should be, uh, going, uh, it should be uh, uh, readable on both sides, but sometimes it messes up. Ah! Well, that helps. I, I, I have your stream up. I just haven't looked. I do know you, indeed. Pedro D750, aka Storm Blessed. How you doing, man? I think the other Pedro knows you as well, the, the, the one that I'm playing Overwatch with. Oh, yeah. We've met. Yeah, I thought you guys have. Oh, yeah, we've definitely met. Defeat. A couple times. He's coming to my stream a few times here and there. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't sure, though. I think that's why you went to Stormblast, so that people could quit mixing y'all up. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, cause I, I remember he he followed me as Pedro, but then he came to Stormblast, and it took like a month for everything. <laughs> I'm actually catching up the chat now. I love sitting in prayer right now. Wait, Pedro! Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, now I see what the restream bot is. I got you. Yeah. That is awesome, man. You're all over the place. I'm trying to be. Um. Is it is it awesome being famous? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'll let you know if I if it ever happens. <laughs> I did have a uh, ha have a kid that uh, I played Rocket League with, with uh, the other day. He's like, "Oh, this is so cool! I get to play with a streamer." I'm like, "I'm no one special. <laughs> I'm just a I'm just a dude that uh, plays games and likes to connect with people." That that's what one of my uh, that's what one of my buddies Welcome did here at the school. He's well. like, "Hey, man, I have a favor to ask. Is we, we play Overwatch with one of my friends here." I'm like, um, "Sure, I'm always down to play with people. Like, I'm I'm okay with it." He's like, cool. He's always wanted to play with the streamer. I'm like, okay, like, we're, we're still a small type community here, dude. Like, I am just yeah, about yeah, yeah. a year. I'm hitting a year tomorrow. Like, nice. I'm actually, throwing a, I'm actually throwing a stream for that as well. So, like, one year celebration, quotations. So, that's exciting to think about. But I'm like, dude, we're still, like, a small community here. Like, it, you know, other things will always be my priority. It's just a kind of a fun thing. He's like, no, he'll just be excited either way. Like, he'll just be like, oh, my gosh, I'm playing with a Twitch streamer. I'm like, well... Thanks. Been off gaming for a bit, was on YouTube, saw you were live. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> one of the guys that I work with. He, he knows that I stream too, but uh, for whatever reason, he thought I was, uh, he was under the impression that like I average 100 viewers. I'm like, dude, that's not even close. <laughs> I wish, but uh, nope. <laughs> let's, let's, let's remove a zero. Now we're talking. Um, <laughs> right. That's what my boss keeps, my boss knows about this. He keeps joking. He's like, yes, yeah, so you're making that hardcore streamer money driving them Teslas around, right? I'm like, okay, for sure. <laughs> That's a myth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. One one day. One day indeed, man. I, 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 don't, I don't know if I ever would. Like, this is kind of something I did, like, just for fun, just to try it. And it's oh, yeah. fun, and I'm blessed. I don't, uh, I have a, I definitely think it'll always be something I'd like. I'd I think I hit that doing, dude. It's not, it's not something I ever see myself doing full time. But like, because I'm starting PhD work next year, so that'll, that'll probably be like, okay, we may have to call it quits around that period. Oh, I just walked right into his arrow, I think. Um, I'm curious if this was a headshot. Yeah, it was. I walked right into that. Time to change things up. So yeah, yeah I, I I'd say that it, you know if it's something that the that the Lord wills, I'm more than down to make that happen. Um. Oh, I'm, don't get me wrong. Like that is definitely like something that'd be pretty amazing. But the Lord would have to make it pretty obvious. Like we're talking oh. Indian level obvious. <laughs> <laughs> like, have like, have you ever? Talking, like, have you, you ever thought, like, though? Is wet outside and, like, my, my car is dry. How, how, how cool would it be if they, re, if they remade the movie 300, right? Uh -huh. But instead of, instead of it being about Spartans, it's about Gideon. <laughs> oh, man, I've never thought about that. Objective lost. That would be something. Stop would that not be amazing? I'm just imagining like, the opening like dramatic scene. 
And, and, and well, and, <laughs> well, and you think about it, Leonidas was was uh, was quote unquote a hero. Oh yeah. Who who in the Bible is a hero? Like, actually, pretty much called a hero. Yeah, not wrong. Gideon's like the only one that's you know there's there's a lot of people that were called good and there were there were a lot of people that were after God's heart but there's there's only one that was like hero. Yeah. Love you. And his name is Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, yeah, he was, but... I see well, your point, though. I'm just being silly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, even he wasn't uh, called hero. He was called son of man. Um, <laughs> so... It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was reading, uh... Reading, oh, yeah. uh, reading about Gideon with my kids, and I'm like, Dude, this is, like, 300, but biblical. I don't know why, uh... I don't know why my why my brain went that way, but it did. I mean, whatever works. Oh, for sure. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you about this. I just haven't seen you around. Like our kids have not lined up, so I remember you posted on Twitter like it feels like a month ago how you got to baptize your kids. Like, yes. So exciting, man. How was that? Like it was. Uh, I was I was nervous to uh, to do it, but at the same time, I was you know I was excited about it. Um, that was my that was my first baptism. Uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I, I don't I don't consider myself a, a minister slash pastor or anything like that. Just a just a just a believer that wants to lead other people to hopefully believe. And uh, you know, it uh, it was a it was a good feeling though. And um, you know, when I when I first started talking to my pastor about it, uh, we were, we you know he he mentioned that his his thought process was uh, was a little different on it and how. He likes uh, he likes the idea of whoever leads them to Christ to be the one to do it, and you know, I was like, I, it intimidates me, but I like the idea. Um, like, hold on, that's a great idea, except there's a flaw. That means I got to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you know, I I I kind of liken it to uh, John the Baptist when he baptized Jesus. You know, he didn't really. He's not obviously not the one that led him to Christ, but. Uh, and, and obviously, like, yeah. Yeah, he said, he told me, you know, you should be the one baptizing me. Like, he had a lot of hesitation. And that's Sinner's Prayer says, you don't need a, uh, need a pastor to baptize. That's true. Big fact. I mean, my old college roommate baptized me. Let's clean nice. Up this mess. Yeah, we were camping out, and uh, I've been in, I declared myself a believer for a few years by that point. We were camping in Arkansas, and I was like, dude. We're by this beautiful river. I, I didn't you know. Okay, I got I gotta ask because I'm I'm originally I grew up in Arkansas. What river? Uh, crap. It's I, I oh, the one near Washington National Park. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were camping out there. This was a good couple years ago. A so believer be a can baptize a believer. You know the area better than I do. Um. Yeah, like Arkansas's got a lot, a lot of natural beauty. Um, there's also some really, huh. really ugly areas as well. But uh, you know, na name a place that doesn't have them, right? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just speaking facts, man. Uh, uh you say so. <laughs> I, I've been in Texas my whole life. I can name. I don't know if I just saved some people or not. I booped the tire and it went up higher than it would. It, would it, it didn't make a difference. Yeah, that, but that was a rough <laughs> game on me. I blame myself. Sorry, guys. It's all gravy. True. And biscuits, biscuits and gravy. Indeed. But honestly, like I've been to Arkansas a few times. I went on vacation with my parents when I was a kid. I went back when I was in high, when I was in college to go camping out there. That's when I got baptized. I actually really like it, and I've always wanted to like go back and just visit because you said it best. A lot of natural beauty out there, and I'm I'm an outdoorsman at heart. I grew up in the Boy Scouts, so like I'm used to just roughing it, and I I just adore that whole area. So you need a hat, you need sunscreen, sunglasses, a towel and blanket to sit on, comfortable clothing, and a water bottle. I will let you borrow a hat, but you cannot borrow one. I'll borrow that one. Now arriving How about... At Tower. 
I bought the Armor of God hat. Select your hero. I need to get me one of those. Ooh, it's a poop map. Uh, huh. We'll go Lucio. Would have been cool to be in, uh, to be baptized in a river. Yeah, I got baptized in a uh, Olympic size swimming pool. Oh, oh, by the way, that's a nice skin. Thank you. He got baptized in a water trough. Um. That's awesome. Come on, let's bring it together. Lucy, I never realized your father was the one who invented this. Costume. Yeah, you can wear you can wear that one. I won't I won't let you wear one of my veteran ones. You're welcome. It's mine now. It's like what I used to do with my dad. I used to borrow his hats all the time, except he'd only wear them around the house. Never like to school or anything like that. That's funny. I used to I used to borrow my dad's uh my dad's robe. He he apparently wore it when when he served in the army and and he bought it in Korea. But that was that was about it. And then it, it had like a silk black belt that went went with it. So when I was in um when I was when I was in Taekwondo and before I got my black belt, uh, I uh. I wore it as, as a black belt. Okay. You're welcome. I need to get me one of the uh, Armor of God hats. I don't have one yet. Then again, I need to upgrade. I need to get the one with the new logo. Yep. I need a coffee mug from them. Because I have a hardcore caffeine addiction. Oh, me too. I, I take uh I take a thermos to to work every day and uh, I don't know the whole thing's gone in like just a couple hours. Same. I have a couple thermoses that I just have a habit of leaving in my car and then when they're all in there I'm like oh I guess it's time to clean them. I I do have I do have a hard stop though like I finish that and I'm I may drink uh we got snipes going on from the right hand side. Yeah he he just popped me. I do have like a couple rules. Like after two o'clock, I stop. No, yeah, after two thirty, I stop drinking coffee and I switch to anything else, just to keep myself like hydrated, like a normal human being. Yeah, I don't even know if I if I hydrate like a normal human being. The closest thing I'll get to that is I'll switch over to uh, like where I work. They have uh, unlimited uh, Keurig uh, pods, but I still prefer my coffee. So when I run out of my coffee, I start drinking those pods until like a certain time, or 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 I've hit that limit, whichever occurs first. Uh, usually the limit, and then I'll go to like the apple, uh, the apple cider curry things. I normally uh, switch to Dr Pepper, <laughs> and I'll have a bottle of water somewhere in between. And then right, right around 8 o'clock, I'll switch to non-caffeinated coffee because I just like coffee. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't drink non-caffeinated uh, non coffee. It's not coffee. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm, I'm not messing <laughs> around. I, it's totally caffeinated. Oh, let's break it. <laughs> if, it's like, if I have a long night of like working on a paper, you best believe like we're, we're going extra caffeine, man. Like when I say I have a double espresso, they're like, sir, that's four shots. I'm like, I know what I'm about. I, yeah. I know exactly where we're going. Woo! That was close. Ooh, that was close. That could have been way worse than actually. Oh, snap. Look out. Thank you for the heals. I'm trying to boost. Can't drink decaf either. Yeah, that's one. I, I, I drink uh, the Phineas coffee. Um double xp and like even before i had an affiliate cold they, they were legit the, the best coffee i've had in my opinion there's some other if ones if i still want to try sponsored by a coffee company i've made it if i ever get that kind of sponsorship i'm like we're good reach like, out we have peak. Score. One, oh i thought they zero. just thought you out okay no I, I mean some sometimes but uh uh, so, so for you personally, go to uh, PhineasCoffee.com, go click on the affiliate thing, fill out the thing and see what they say. How's it going, Chovy? You're so Wor worst case they'll, they'll tell you is, is no, right? And then I'll cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Just kidding. 
You're out. Good night. All right. Good night, Storm Bless. You have a uh, great night. God bless. Appreciate you hanging out, man. I'll give it a little more. Right now, the channel's been... I'm kind of not rebranding, but I'm just taking advantage of some of the extra things that I haven't had time to do. I got gotcha. you. Like I finally made a new logo the other... Well, I had to make a new logo the other day. Made me some new overlays. I'm getting some emails delivered a couple weeks time this week. Oh, whoa. He chased me down. Like, just doing all the things I haven't actually had time to fit because I got... I reached the affiliate rank right around final time. Oh, nice. So, so, like so, so you hit, so you hit affiliate, and then you're like, oh, I don't get to have an affiliate stream. <laughs> I know. Well, I had one when I probably should have had it, but I like, I want to do it anyways. Yeah, I, uh, I feel and like that's I... gonna be my boat uh, here come the 30th of the month because I'm getting ready to uh, start back college myself. I'll be working towards my master's in psychology, um, which for for me will be an entirely uh, different. Um, Thing than what I've done historically, because um, just for the last several years I've, uh, I've I've been involved in IT in some some sort of capacity, um, which is which is kind of funny because like the way that things are working in centers, if you're there, this is kind of what I was talking about in your stream earlier. Um, a, lo a lot of the things that I'm trying to process, um, which usually I don't have so so many things going on that I can't process, but right now that's that's very much the case. Um, <clears throat> I I, uh, I heard a radio announcement for groundwire.net um, uh, to basically be a life coach and talk to people. So I, I signed up for that. Usually the process takes uh, two, two, uh, two days to a few weeks, depending. They put me on a team instantaneously. Um, I, I felt like I needed to go back to college for psychology, which uh, that was the very first thing I started going to college for uh, when I first began way back when. And uh, like it's it's just it's it's interesting how 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 so many so many of these things are coming full circle, um, with focuses on the individual. Oh gosh! You know, oh. it just kind of shows how like God does his thing. Like he puts yeah. things on our heart for a reason. It's just a. He never, I mean, of course, sometimes he does think of small things, but when he puts these things and sets it in motion, it's like, buckle up, dude. Like, here we go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, that, that's exciting to see that. I'll be praying for you during that season. Thank you. And, you know, that that, that kind of uh, was was led with, with the uh, with the beginning, uh, you know, the, the question being asked if uh, if I would be interested in leading leading small groups. Uh, oh, gosh, that was a waste of an ult. Um... To, to which I was like, well, I've never done that before, but uh, sure, you know. <laughs> I, I was I was uh, having some thoughts yesterday, and you know, a lot of people will, will say, uh, God doesn't give you more than you can handle, and uh, me, frankly, I, I disagree with that logic. Uh, God will totally give you more than you can handle because He wants you to lean on Him. He wants you to grow, yeah, and <laughs> and uh, you know, if if you're comfortable, you're you're not growing. Um, and man, the, the 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 level of discomfort, but contentment at the same time, over the last two years has just been insane. Working on you know not not speaking veteran fluently, i.e., not cussing a lot, because um, that's you know, 18 years of military service. Every other word started with an F or an S, and. Um, while I personally wasn't convicted about it, and I know a lot of people will throw uh, Ephesians out there, um, even that didn't convict me. I was like, well, I, I, I can I can say that you're freaking awesome, but I can say the other word, right? And I, I, I'm not being unwholesome. I'm not tearing you down. I'm building you up. Uh, so there was no conviction there. And uh, But I was like, you know, it doesn't put me in the best of light. It doesn't put Christ in the best of light. And it could be a stumbling block to other people. I need to change that. Um, and then, you know, I guess recently, um, earlier this year, I, I, I came across uh, Colossians 3, um, and, uh, and, you know, there was the conviction. It was like, slap. I was like, oh, uh, um, okay. <laughs> and it's and it's just, it's it's interesting how that works. And, you know, my, my small groups kids, they're like, do, do you have troubles, uh, you know, not cussing and stuff? I was like, you know, sometimes and you know it used to be really bad and you know i i 
I tell them that to be honest, because I don't ever want to set up the false narrative that, hey, I've got all my stuff together and that, you know, I, I'm on this pedestal that I should never be on to begin with and that you got to arise to this level that you somehow think I'm at. You know, the, our walk is personal. Uh, my struggles may or may not be their struggles. Their struggles may or may not be mine. And, um, you know, that's going to look different for everybody. And, and you know, that that's kind of the thing I wanted to assure them of. Wow. Science will reveal the truth. Oh, I get it. It makes a lot of sense. It does. You know, it's funny you were like bringing up the idea of like, you know, just realism and everything like that and comfortness and growing. This has been a year for growing for me personally. That's something I had to remind myself, especially second year, master's level at a seminary and everything. I thought the first year was hard and this one I was like, oh man. So thank you for the encouragement there. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. It's, uh, you know, kind of... And I'm excited to hear that God's doing these things for you, that he's opening these doors for you. That's yeah, gonna thank be, you. Yeah, that's going to be super cool. I'm excited to see what God's going to do in that. And take it from me, it's still very possible to go to school, to work on Masters while growing a Twitch channel. Granted, oh, for sure. you won't be able to do it as much, but I, uh, it's all about time management. And if anything, like, you know, my growth started last summer. And it allowed me to organize myself better. It allowed me to be like, okay, well, let's stay ahead. We can't stream unless we, you know, stay productive today. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, you know, my, my wife was like, you you, you know, because when I started leading small groups, I, I stopped uh, streaming on Wednesdays. And uh, she's like, well, you, you'll only be streaming uh, three times a week. I'm like, okay. You know, this is this is kind of, uh, you know, I was asked if I want to do it. It's, I don't have to say yes, but I feel like I, I, I feel like I should. <laughs> So, I said yes, and, you know, I don't stream on Wednesdays uh, unless, you know, small groups cancel or whatever because they can't make it for whatever the, whatever reason. Oh, gosh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Um, and even then, three times a week is still pretty good if you ask me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when I when I start back school, if, if, if I can't maintain that, then okay, you know. It's it's kind of interesting how Brownwire, uh, becoming a life coach through Brownwire and going back to school for psychology kind of synced up because, you know, going through Brownwire, you're not necessarily a psychologist. You're not there to give them psychological advice or, or things like that, but you're there to talk to them and you're there to give them a biblical perspective. And, it, and in doing that, you, you have some of the same skill sets that are associated with um, with um being a uh, uh, I feel like this whole field of like this whole psychology is still fairly new and it's growing oh and I think that's exciting to see that how people are just applying these you know the bible says something that's very serious especially because mental health is at an all-time high right now for sure or mental health is what I want to say so it's, it's like I'm glad to see people are answering the call that's always like encouraging and part of like, one of my big, biggest pet peeves of my seminary is that they have a counseling program, but they don't, like, when you graduate, you're not necessarily licensed. So I'm like, well, like, what's the point in that? Like, well, and, and you know, uh, when I when I was talking to my pastor about it, uh, he he uh, he asked, "Have you considered like biblical counseling?" I'm like, "Well, honestly, at this point, I haven't." Uh, haven't really explored what was out there and it's kind of interesting because as I, I have started looking a little bit and there is something called um engineering psychology and the field that i'm in is very very loosely uh uh engineering related and I'll, i'm just like i don't know and you know for, for like the first my first nine years in the um in the air force i worked on aircraft so that that's also very loosely in the engineering field and I, I don't know it's just i don't know there's there's a, there's the amount of experience that i have gained is just crazy and i was thinking about it this morning had, had i actually been obedient to what i felt was on my heart when i first joined uh, the military it's like where where would i be now because i because i felt like you know I, I was supposed to not 
um, not re-enlist uh, after the after the first time, but I did anyway, and, uh, and then again the second time, and I did anyway, and you know, we're 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 stubborn people, right? And, and it's like I don't know what what would be different. It on one hand. God knew exactly that I was going to do this because he's all knowing and, and he's like, you know, this guy's going to make foolish decisions, but hey, we're going to use it because, you know, he doesn't need me to be successful. He doesn't need me to fulfill his will um, and, and all things good and bad. He's going to use them for his glory and his purpose, including my uh, my shortcomings and my mistakes and my rebellion and my whatever. Um, so, you know, it's 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 interesting to consider how all that plays in as well. I'm not going to lie, I totally like myself. Do what? I said I'm not going to lie, I totally like myself. Oh, I occasionally do. Um so, sometimes I'm like, "Ooh, I deserve this one." But usually I'm like, "Eh, let's pick somebody else." Or I don't. Depends on what's going on. The only time I don't nominate myself is if I get a play of the game as well. Then I'll just try to like give the love to one of my, you know. Gotcha. I'm playing with. And, you know, it's funny. You, you mentioned a lot of like looking back because like I uh, now that I've finished my second year of master's work, this has been like the ultimate time to like, all right, let's reflect, let's see like what's going on, what was the good, what was the bad, and it's it's kind of funny like the things you realize of like here's how you don't notice like in the Probably moment what god is doing in that time know. but then suddenly when you actually just take those moments Prepare to breathe to you're like mm -hmm. man how did i miss Select that well and, and even then uh you know you, you you fixate on the bad so much that at the time your problem seems bigger than god and of course we know that that's not the case but at the in the moment your problem is so massive but then you look bad at, back at it you know and it's like you know it, it, it really wasn't that bad um I pushed forward, I, I made strides, I had growth, um, I learned a lot, uh, and, you know, that really go, that really draws back to, um, like, the, the Hebrews 12, 11, and, you know, in, in the moment, all, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later yields uh, the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. And, you know, in, in those moments, it's super painful. And then after the fact, it's like, well, well, that's that's not that bad. I could I could totally do it again, and you know if I if I needed to, and you know while it sucked in the moment, God, God took me through this and got me to this. Yep, well said. I see you, Reinhardt. I see you, Frank. Yeah, I uh, I I I kind of uh, targeted Reinhardt just because like That's he was right. I got him. he was doing he was doing Reinhardt things and he's low you know, he's low had to do a stream raider battle real quick that was the last one though at least for the night gotcha well, especially now like I was thinking about it this year you know I took a different job this year. Uh, working for the school I work at, and I was already part of their top worship band, so I was already kind of a face, but it wasn't until, like, this year. I was talking, I, I've made a lot of new friends this year, like, I have some new neighbors and stuff, and everyone's always kind of like, oh, yeah, that's Pedro. He's, you know, a pretty well-known guy. He's a leader around the school, so I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. Like, I'm supposed to keep my head down. No one's supposed to know who I am and stuff like that, but I realized in that time, the position God kind of put me in, because we have a lot of undergrads uh, who are working on their bachelor's degree, a lot of 18-year-old kids, and I've been able to spend time with them and hopefully be able to kind of guide them and tell them not to do dumb things. And, and I realized, like, at the end, I was like, man, God really put me in this, like, awesome position. And I feel like in some cases, I really kind of let it pass by. And I beat myself up over it, but, you know, these are the moments where you learn from it. Oh, absolutely. And according to my like my friends, they're like, no, you, you didn't. And I'm like, well, you know, maybe I'm just being picky. We are our worst critics. <laughs> oh, I'll drink to that. Have some coffee. Um, I was going to say, like, a real, real big gulp of uh, <laughs> double shot espresso. Oh, 
Or a Dr. Pepper. I have a Dr. Pepper right here, although I have that. There we go. Yeah, but that's also another reason why I decided I want to continue doing, uh, that's why I want to continue PhD work. Because I like the position I'm in, I enjoy it. They kind of reveal that, hey, look, there's still work to be done in discipleship, especially I've uh, I've kind of slowly come to the conclusion that I'm not meant to return to full-time ministry. I was, I was a full-time youth pastor not too long ago, or associate youth pastor, I should say. Yeah, sure. And I really have felt like, you know, I'm bivocational now because I'm in school, and I felt a lot of peace about being bivocational, and I, not only do I not feel that, I really don't want to go back to full-time work, and I've realized it's the best place where I can really groom people who are serious for the next generation while also still serving in a local church effectively. And that's something I've really been super excited about. And that's kind of the path I'm hoping God will allow me to go in as I continue in studying and everything. Plus, those doctor robes look pretty sweet, not going to lie. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. I, I'll just have that carry around a plastic lightsaber. You know I've made it. Now I'm just hoping I don't make a fool of myself when I'm uh, doing all that. Oh, let's be honest, you will. I probably will. At least once. More like 17 times a day, but you know, hey. But you know what? It's 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 not if you fall. It's not if you get knocked down. It's it's when you do. Will you choose to get back up? And if you do, how will you do it? Exactly. That's what I keep telling myself. Now the important part is I gotta remember that when the time comes. Yeah, and, and well, and that's you know something as as I've uh, been leading uh, small groups, I'm I've uh, had to come to the realization it's it's not if I mess up, it's not if these kids see me fail, it's when they do. Then what? Indeed. Oh, what what age are you uh, leading? Um, pretty much uh, thir thirteen. Uh, up. Uh, oh, thir bless your heart, man. Thir 13 to, uh, I guess, um, through high school. So what they were doing, uh, one of our one of our elders was um, was leading them. Plus, he was trying to do college and career, and uh, essentially, the college and career kids weren't being weren't being fed like they needed to be. Um, because you know they're at a, they're at a different point in their life. They've got uh, different str struggles. They've got uh, different experiences, oh, and uh, totally. I'm better at Hanzo than you. <laughs> me and this Reinhardt been trading blows pretty ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I get him, he gets me. Vice versa. Say, I did pre-teen ministry, and that was great. I loved it. It was such a fruitful time in my life, and I was talking about it with a friend of mine, how much fun it was. But they can they can get you going, man. They can definitely... Uh... Well, you know, they, 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 they ask the tough questions, and sometimes it's because they're trolling, and sometimes it's because they're curious, and it's it's like I will not trying to balance it out. It so easily. Oh, yeah. The tough... You know, it's funny. I loved it because... I, I I was very proud. I actually welcomed the tough questions because of you know a lot of they're in a very awkward time because they're they're transitioning from you know children's ministry to preteen like going into that and that's what's funny because you have like you know preteen fifth and sixth grade you have two types of kids you have those kids who are clearly still young and they're totally cool with it and they're enjoying it then you have those that think they're 17 even though they're barely 13 yes and you're trying to find the balance of it. And that's where I just had some fun with it, and you know, I took fun with them as well, and I, I, I had a blast all the time, it was great. And like I said, I always tried to welcome those tough questions with them, because I want to treat them like they're older. I don't want them to be like, alright, yeah, we're just gonna have, you know, light children's ministry, or disguise it as something else. No, I would definitely have some of the harder discussions. I would definitely have no issue in bringing those in. That was the easy part. But it was, yeah. like I said, it was the older kids that just thought they were as cool as can be, but I had to remind them that they're still 13 and they have their mom dressed in school every day. I'm, I'm indestructible. Nothing will happen to me. <laughs> I remember but, uh, there was one kid 
good kid, but he was definitely like, I'm the popular kid around, so he I had to milk that. Man, I'm getting owned out. over here. I'll never forget, um, it was right before Star Wars came out, and I was like, I'm a Star Wars fan. Love it or hate the movies, I'm gonna go see it if it comes out, even if I know it's gonna be bad. So, episode 9 was coming out, and I wore like my Star Wars ugly sweater. And I'm like, all right, kids, who's ready? This guy is ready for it. I bought my tickets like months ago. And that one kid's like, wow, someone has way too much free time on their hands. And I kind of looked at him. I go, yeah, I do have a lot of free time on my hands. I'm a grown man with a full-time job in a car who doesn't need his mom to drive him to school. What do you think? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shut him up real quick. He was all like, okay, got me there, dude. Like, he was not upset. He was kind of like, all right, I walked into that one. I'll accept that. Alright, I got soldier. That'll open up the gate a little bit. I've uh I've got alt. It's ready. It's just an issue of if I can do anything with it. Got the Hanzo. Okay. Oh, almost got the Hanzo, never mind. The... This, I can tell you right now, this team is uh they're they're communicating. <laughs> they yeah, they they weren't and they get they were getting backed up and now they are. You were yeah, but the Lord closed that chapter in my life, and as much fun as it was, I didn't exactly argue when he was all like, time to focus on worship ministry and stuff. Did Hanzo switch Hanzo's? Because, like, this one's better. <laughs> I think they might have, in all honesty. Yeah, because. Good kill, I saw that. Thank you. Can still do it. Yeah, my 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 goal was to just push them back a little bit. There we go. That's not coming up down. Darn, that is a lot. Push back that choke a little bit, you know. They are they are really taking tight right there. They really are. I mean, I'm not surprised. This, this last part of the map is like stupid hard. Always. Ooh, ooh. Cleared away some of that. There we go. There we go. That helped get some of that out of there. There we go. I popped it. Oh. That was honestly pure luck. I don't know how, other than Jesus, Jesus made that happen. Yeah, there you go. That's that's the only thing I can think of. Ten seconds. Got the mercy. Got their healer down. Oh jeez. Oh, oh god, that that probably it right there. I can tell you right now. When I saw that, that was. That was a well plotted. Ooh, <laughs> well, the, well the, uh, and the thing is, is I, I, I moved it right off to the side, and, and uh, yeah, it didn't matter. They they calculated that perfectly. Holy they cow, though. Right away. Yeah, I think that did it right there. Yeah. We were so close. Yeah, we were. Oh, well. I really can't argue. That was a good play there. It, it really was. That's going to uh, wrap it up for me, man. Uh, All good. Unfortunately, work tomorrow. I'm glad we're able to play. I know we've talked about it a lot. So I'm glad we're <laughs> yeah, able to play yeah, for sure, man. Um, is there anything I could pray for you about? Uh, you know, uh, praise God, I'm doing okay right now. The only thing I think of, like I said, I uh, made the decision a few days ago that I'm gonna go for PhD work, and I was officially, unofficially accepted into the program. I still gotta apply, but my professor was very much like, "No, we'll take you." Nice. So that's uh, that's a good feeling, though. Awesome, but I, it, it's a great feeling. But of course, there's the the pressure that comes with that and, you know, acknowledging not only my PhD student, but I'm a seminary PhD student. So I'll be not just at a church, but I'll be teaching people how to serve in a church effectively. So just being able to be a humble mind and to, for the Lord to really use me in any, in, you know, any of the things of myself that may get in the way of that, I want those thrown aside because I want the Lord to really shine in that opportunity, not for myself, not for me, not so I can change my Twitch name to Dr. Pedro, which is totally gonna happen, by the way. But really, I, I don't, I don't fault you there. And and yeah, and and, and exactly. unlike the uh, the mass number of doctors out there, you could be like, yes, I really am a doctor. And I know, right? <laughs> I, it's really, 
I really want God just to shine in that moment. That's the thing. I want it to really reflect his glory and just everything that can, all the training I can get from that and how it can grow both on, on Twitch if need be and in a local church and just for everybody around. Like that's, that's really the only thing It's just prayer for as I go through that starting next year, actually. Yeah. A year from now. That's, that's nuts to think about. All right. We'll, uh, we'll do. And, uh, going through discord prayer uh, request right now. Uh, just kind of, kind of looking to see what's been added since, uh, since last time we've gone through them and, uh, we've, we've got, um, uh, we got a few new ones. We've got, uh, blue, blue Jackson, uh, needing some prayers for uh, maternal grandma as she was taken to the hospital via ambulance this morning. Uh, a heart enzyme was uh, wacky and she has a compressed disc last, uh, last he heard, uh, they were admitting her to the hospital and we're trying to talk talk her into getting into assisted living, but she's refusing. Also prayers for, uh, for his folks as they, uh, as, the, as they navigate this trying time, haven't heard from, uh, from his, from his folks in over three hours, check the cameras at, at the house, uh, in, in the mountains and they're not there either, which brings a bunch of concern at this point, much love. And then, uh, we've got Ophelia, our walk, um, our walk for life is in two weeks. This is the this is the first uh, that will bring all churches and walkers together instead of having separate events. Um, with with all that is going on concerning Roe versus Wade, we and all the uh, all the crisis pregnancy centers need prayer. Uh, my hope is that we will reach and touch hardened hearts, and uh, that we we all will be loving towards those who hate us. Definitely a lot of big things going on in the um, in in the world, uh, just just within our own small community. So we will be praying for those uh, issues. We'll be praying um, for for everybody else as well. And uh, Pedro will be praying for you as well. So of I'm course, going to go ahead and uh, pray real quick, mm -hmm. and then we'll raid somebody. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and just thank you for this opportunity for us to be able to get together, hang out, and uh, just uh, be able to enjoy some um, fellowship. Lord, I just ask that you would continue to encourage this community, that you would uh, bless each and every person that's been a part of today's stream, whether they were here for a moment or over the last several hours. Lord, we want to lift up uh, Pedro as he gets ready to um, graduate with his with his master's studies and uh, go forward into the doctorate program. Lord, I just ask that you would, uh, that you would give them peace of mind, that you would give them, uh, give them a calmness that only you can provide, that you, that you would uh, help them to not be anxious over anything uh, and to lean on you with, um, with your direction. Lord, I just ask that you would give them discernment, that you would give them wisdom, that you would give them guidance. Um, and uh, when, when, when the times do get difficult, that you would, uh, just remind them of who you are and uh, that that you can um, that you can steady the um, most most violent of waves lord we also want to lift up um blue uh blue jackson um specifically his uh, his grandma lord uh, you know you know the details and uh, everything that is going on there lord i just pray that you would uh, that you would that you would uh, provide skilled doctors with um with knowledge over uh, everything that is going on that the, that you would uh, give them the uh right um uh, things to do and whatever is going on uh, in all of this lord i just pray for his parents uh as as they're dealing with uh, a lot of uh, additional stressors in, in their life lord just give him uh give him peace and um uh, as, as he's uh, battling a bunch of different things himself, um, just uh, be an encouragement. Lord, uh, just place the right people in his right in, in his life to say the uh, the right things at the right time, and uh, let him lean not on his own understanding, but uh, but who you are. And uh, I also want to uh, pray for Ophelia, uh, uh, doing the uh, walk for life in in a couple of weeks. Lord, I just pray that uh, that you would be with the crowd, that you uh, that you would place a barrier for protection, that you would. Uh, that you would soften the hearts uh, of of everybody that is there, whether they're uh, for or against Roe versus Wade, that um, that they can just uh, 
be there in the moment that they can grow in you that that uh ophelia and anybody else that is ministering uh to these people uh, would just have the right words to say uh, to the right people at the right time that they could speak in love when e- even in in the moments when they're being shouted at and maybe even uh physically uh physically touched or um spit on or anything like that lord um, your word reminds us that uh, that you were persecuted and that uh, for your name's sake, um, it's it's only inevitable that uh, at some point we we shall be too. But uh, Lord, we just trust that uh, that you'll be there with us in uh, in the calm and in the storm and every every uh, road in between. Lord, I want to continue praying for those uh, people that are in uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine that uh, you would um, specifically the innocent people. Um, the missionaries that are over there, I just pray for an extra barrier of protection that um, you would encourage them and uh, just remind them of the why we do what we do and not the problem that is at hand. In Jesus' name, we give all the glory and all the honor. Amen. Amen. All righty. Let me see who we got on. We are going to go ahead and uh, raid. Hey, we got a, got a couple homies online. We got anybody that's doing um, the uh, Compassion International, do you know? Yeah, I think Redfire Trevor's doing it right now. He's live right now playing Apex. There we go. That's winner, winner, chicken dinner then. I don't typically get the, get the option to raid him very often anyway. So yeah, we got Wreck-It Alf. He's doing it as well. But yeah, let's go. If, you, if you have Redfire, let's do it to him then. Redfire X Trevor. All right, we are starting this uh, raid. Thank you guys for uh, being a part of t- t- tonight's stream. Pedro, thank you for the games. And, of course, um, thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, my pleasure. And um, we will catch you guys probably Sunday, if if not before then. But uh, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. God bless, and good night. Night, everyone.